quality pitcher in the circle uses all of that six foot wants to chase out of the zone that's when she's her best slow roller past beaver but it's gobbled up by the second baseman callie hevelin and they pitch as i mentioned that because yesterday's game started with falby with a which is key the reigning sec player <laughs> of the year while playing for that team in the atlantic sun it's can't be predictable and Live to play, looking for the sweep. How about that? 3 2 pitch. Kept it down. Wallace strikes out from Phoenix, transfer from Oklahoma. Later, freshman year. Last. It's down the left field side. Jenna Johnson chasing into foul ground and makes the catch to retire this. The rise at three levels. She'll throw it at your knee, your belt. Pretty impressive outing. Or is it a first pitch strike to Jenna? Maybe Dukeshire, a big bat in the three hole, three RBIs. It's out towards right center field, and that's going to drop in. Jenna Johnson leads off the game. It was a fifth inning single that broke up the no hitter. At the, uh, at the park. Takes upstairs, two balls and two strikes. Curveball admitted that it maybe wasn't her favorite pitch, but. Coach of Florida. Been in North Carolina the last eight years. That ball towards the middle and his floater into the glove of Mia Williams. Soft line. But she is. But that's what he recruits. Well-rounded athletes. If you're a coach, you got to love a multi -sport. His athletic skills. And there's a base hit for Dukeshire into left field. Just kind of guided it through the left. Bama has runners at first and second with one out. See the season numbers, she is 0 for 3 in the two games three times because she's been hit by pitch twice and walked. And now she has a base hit in the left center field. Jenna Johnson comes in as the lead. Well, that is a big hit for Al. Inning streak going on into this series and added Mark before the game. Some of his insight. Slow tap out to Wallace. Skyler quickly gathers that. And Oh, and Mark Ace all season, I believe she's thrown out seven runners. With Towards right center field, on the run, Falby tracks it down. We well, had a feeling if it's tied, settles for one in the first, and we've played left, left center field. It's really not blowing tonight. <laughs> and then her answer was very, it was a lengthy, but. Has years of poise, you can see it. Back towards the circle, speared by Beaver. Had to reach up over her head to snag that. It's of their own, but they did have a Reagan Walsh doubled in that game. A little bit low. Tells me that she just missed that. I mean, that was bats as well as speed. Chopped out towards short, snagged Kahalen. Defensive side of the ball. A credit team to start her Gators career. Strike three on the inside corner. Beaver's second. Home half of inning two, and that's chopped by Bailey Downing out to second base. And Mia Williams. Going last year. Kahalen softly hit, gobbled up by Wallace, but with her momentum carrying. Her. One for 15. More Crimson Tide softball games on the SEC Network this week, and it's Cap. A four-pitch walk to Kristen White for infield moving in rotation, get them thinking. Out to short, Wallace tag and gets the out there. She had the force out at third. You mentioned Michelle yeah. has been a struggle the first two games for Bama. Yeah, really. The series have struggled just a bit. And the reason why two out hitting is so important is because typically that's when you have runners. It's going to take all the way regardless. Lauren, this so I got them. It's popped up on the infield. Mia Williams makes the catch. Bama had two off home run in the eighth from Lexi Brady to avoid being swept. One nothing to the top of the third. 
First pitch strike to Cass Homer Road. It was late April of 2013 at LSU. Anywhere in the SEC being swept. And that's a rocket to center field, but drifting back, well read by Kristen White. To 2004 against LSU. Two clubs within the SEC, right? There was a 13 year. It was the first to win a national title out of the SEC. That's the third. Bailey Dowling. Her first chance throws out. Yeah, Williams to third. That is foul. Foul ball. No out. The inning will continue. And it's been very competitive in this conference in the regular season. Out to Kenley Kahalen. Then what the velocity is, because she's got that tight, hard spin, low screwball on that arm side as well. Duke sure swinging at the first pitch. High pop up and at third base. Ariel settles in her mid. One pitch, one out. And Keegan, when she's throwing. Guys have yet. Yeah. And a lot of that is, I think, just the, the, the way that with the velocity. Teen more in the second. So she was nearing 40. And, and, and that's where I would like to see Alabama. That get deep and shoot that off the opposite way. There, there go. she goes. The field, Falby on the move, off the glove. And down to second base goes Giles with a dub for it. Still would have taken just an outstanding play. Game three. Giles got all into that. It's a great piece of hitting, especially when you're seeing screwball in, rise ball in, and you see... Diving catch. Oh. Kowalewski in foul ground. I would imagine as a third baseman, though, those are the plays you know. Yeah. Three pitches, she gets the strikeout. First strikeout of Grafalbi. Rolled out to second base to begin the game. Out in those three ball counts. And that's one of the keys is that you. First pitch strike to Kendra Falby. Caleb Beaver in the first. Over the top spin. A bit of that downward 400 in the lineup. And I have to hurry. The throw comes safe. Kahalen even playing left side. Falby with her speed still yep. of a second. Running? 100%. You got no chance. No Let's chance. see here. There's shovel out at second. Safe at first. Skyler Wallace. Left field base hit for Jocelyn Erickson. Lead runner Wallace scoots down to second. And started at first base. Back to the circle. Throw goes to second out there to first double play. Well, Caleb Beaver never get out of the inning. Yeah, this is an them to play in this environment. Uh, yeah, it's great. All week long, uh, Coach Walton cranked up the old Rhodes house. It turned up the music a little louder because <laughs> it is just even in in this game. He's been under pressure, right? Pitched in a little bit of duress every inning. They're scattered those five hits. That ball's blasted towards left center field. It's hit deep and gone. Emma gets the ball to leave the ballpark for the first time in the series. On. Ball down the right field line, caught, run down by Cassidy McClellan. And right, probably not enough differential, right, Mark? You really got to make sure that when you are off speed to be in the mid to high 50s, you want your. To third, gobbled up by Kowalewski. Two. Pitching is totally different from a year ago. Bouncy ball up the middle, Wallace plants, throws, got her. Skyler Wallace, we move to the top of the fifth inning from Tuscaloosa on this SEC Monday night. DP Reagan Walsh is grounded to short. Inning, I mean, that is just stellar. Bounced out to second base, and Hevelin gathers a throw out. Leaders have taken the first two, but tonight, Bailey Dowling. In the zone. But the thing that I like about Kayla Beaver mark is that her misses miss and out. 
Otis shoots it in to right. There's a base hit. Lauren Johnson able to cut it off right near the foul line. And Corby Otis hammered a ball in the third inning, squared it up and line. Defensive swing with two strikes. Ooh, and they say she did not go around. She has seen six, and now she will see a seventh pit. Working her away again, and a borderline pitch goes the way of Beaver. Strike three call. Show that strike. Kowalewski out to short, and the throw in time from Kahalen to Dukeshire. Nothing tied. Big swing for her and for Bama, who come up here with Larissa Pruitt off the bench. The 2022 Alabama Gatorade High School Player of the Year. Pruitt off the bench, waits on the 2-2 from Rothrock. And the strikeout. Tournament, pregame, halftime, postgame coverage. All starts Wednesday. A little bit off that pitch, coming in around 62 miles an hour. That Inning Bama scored one of the first, got another in the fourth on a... Back-to-back -back Ks for Keegan Rothrock to begin the fifth. Well, that's impressive. That's RBI single to left center in the first. Bama hitters. Well, to your point, Mark, they're two for nine to Alabama. This is two. That is ball four on a 3-2 pitch. So Giles reaches for a third time tonight. Rock. Still unbeaten. Evelyn first pitch swinging out to right field, and Cassidy McClellan squeezes it to retire the six. Both pitchers doing a good job of letting anybody reach. Nine one and two hitters. Katie Kissler pinch hitting. Katie started in the uh, first couple of games of the series. Out. Three three ball. The three ball counts. She's own layoff pitches out of it. Kayla Beaver comes back after f with her on air during yesterday's game out to short. Halen quickly. Being what you're facing and how quick they're going to get. On the ground, a first right behind the bag. That's fair. And Dukeshire by a step. Her last time up. Lays down a bunt. And playing small ball. It's a big run out at second base for Bama because with the firepower down, a 3-2 pitch. Out it. Fulby up with it. They're going to... Now she's going to try to score as Fulby fumbled it. And Esmond comes in. Number the sixth. Bama. The defense to settle in. The offense to put a run up on the board. Strike three call on the outside corner. He gets Johnson. Jocelyn Erickson to lead off, and she knocks the first pitch into center field for a base hit. Well, the Gators waste little time. So they didn't do a double play last time up. That was a huge play for Bieber fourth. Base hit right field. And with nobody out, Florida's going to get the tying run second tonight. Bieber. Out at second. Out at first. And for the second time tonight, Corby Otis singled to right field in her last at bat off Beaver. Nervously waiting to see what's going to happen. A four pitch walk, the first walk of the game. Third, but lined out to the center fielder, Kristen White. Strike three call at the bottom of the zone. And Caleb Beaver from Central Arkansas. Bama salvages a game of this three game. Excuse me, a game to, to make sure they didn't get swept. So big, big win for them in this series. That's good.